Welcome guys, it's Noman here. Today we will talk about the PLC. What is the PLC, the basics of the PLC. Before gonna get in detail about the PLC, let's take an example of human brain, how it works. And how it's controlling every activity done by the human being. If you, for example, take an example of a man touching by mystic of fire, what he will do after that. When he touches the fire, he will instantly remove, uh, if or he is about to touch it and he feels sensation of fire, a pain in his fingers. At the same time, he will try to remove the hand. The brain is going to give him signal that this is not the right place to touch. So what he is going to do? He is going to directly remove the hand from it. So looking at that particular example, we are going to compare the PLC programming and PLC concept Programming definitely it will be a later topic, but now today we will talk about only the PLC. Let's see. Every process is actually in the process industry is controlled by Mr. PLC. What is this Mr. PLC is doing? Mr. PLC is just like a brain man. It is getting all the signals from the fields devices and it is seeing like whether this based on the signals what I have to do. Like in the brain, what he is doing, like for example, you see it when you're touching the fire at the time, its brain is giving the signals to the hand to remove it. It is not a place to touch it more, or you place the hand there, it will be a dangerous for you. So the man is trying to push his hand at that time, similarly. So, what the PLC on another hand is doing in the pro, in the in the plant process control. It is doing the same kind of a thing like for example in a process industry you have different things different control walls are different motors which time which which motor and which wall or which process need to be run it is divided decided by the PLC so PLC is a king of operation of the process control it is controlling every activity in the plant how it is doing uh, it is it's dealing with that what we need it for that purpose. With, let's take a simple example of the push button. For example, if you try to push that button in the in the field and when a person start pushing that button or push it a, a while, then what will happen? The PLC will read it and he will think what to do now. And based on the program you give it in the PLC, he will decide what to do. For example, if you push a button, it is order, order for the PLC to start a motor, then this PLC will send a command to output card and output card is interfaced with the final control element like for example the motor or it is going to give a signal to the motor that it's the time to start so for example now we take an example of push a button push button is just a command giving to the input card of the PLC and input card is just an interface between the PLC CPU and the field device like in the case in this case is a push button there so you are getting the signal from the push button and uh, that input module is the interface between uh, your uh, CPU and a uh, field element there what is the need of input module why we need input module there in the PLC and what is re what is the requirement for that Requirement for the input module is uh, that, for example, you are getting the signal from the f uh, from the field element from the push button. It is in the 24 volts, so it's. But you know the programming and uh, sorry, uh, the computer systems and every processor it's uh, deal with the digital world. It it only knows the zeros and ones. So, like for example, if I'm uh, talking to you, it, if I don't know how uh, I don't know how to talk in English and you guys are English speakers you will not understand me or if you are an Urdu speaker I am talking to you in English and you don't know English you will not able to understand my point so same is the case here the CPU don't understand this uh, uh, language of electrical signal so what is what exactly is the CPU is understanding that that is a digital words a digital uh, uh, digital uh, language so for that you need to put an interface between your field element and processor that's why you put in an input module there just the acting as an interface in between now the PL CPU get a signal what is looking for and he knows what exactly is now you're sending him from input module to the 
Now CP will think, oh, what I have to do? If the guy in the field, he pushed the button for the starting of motor, it, that is program already in the PLC, and the PLC brain is acting now, that based on that condition, I have to turn on the motor. So what he's going to do? Same, because now CPU is in digital language, and it's sending the signal to output module there. So now output module, what is the need of an output module there? Output module is doing what here? It is acting as an interface between your final control element. Like in this case, it's a motor there. It is acting as an interface there. So what exactly is it's doing? The, the language you are getting in with the CPU is a digital language, and the field element at the final control, they are not used to for that kind of a thing. So they will only understand electrical signals, so you need another, another interface there, that is output module there. So you get an understanding, like, uh, same like Homan uh, brain, what is doing. It have, like for Homan body have a different sensor, like sensor to sense uh, smell, sensor to touch the, f uh, sensor to feel the pain and touching and everything. So these are all uh, Homan uh, made sensor, Homan body's uh, sensor already, they fit in the Homan body. Like if you are touching the fire at that time, you feel it like it's not a place I, I need to touch it there. So you directly removed your hand from there. What is order and from where is the order is coming? It's from your brain. Same here in this scenario. CPU is your brain in the process control industries. So same if you compare with the human being. Human being brain is actually given all the commands there. But if you only talk about the brain is as a complete human being, it will be senseless. So same here, if you talk about the PLC as a complete control system, is a senseless. Because instrument, input modules, output module, communication modules, and different communication protocols, they link together, and it's PLC, DCS, CARA, and these are all things, hard communication, they link together to make a control system. So this is not only World War to understand that I know the control system. If you know the PLC processor, it's not enough. You need to look at the instrumentation. You need to look at the input modules, the output modules, the field communication modules. These are really important to know. And how you will get to know about that, you need to join me. You need to be stay linked with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Your subscription, your hits will make me agree to move on further. I hope you understand my point. We will talk about in detail what is a relay, what is a contactor. We will try to build on your foundation first and later on we will talk in detail about PLC programming step by step. Thank you for watching. It's Norman here saying bye-bye.